Hello, everybody. I just wanted to show you how you can get access to Microsoft Office for free as a Fresno City College student. Um, again, Microsoft Office, it normally costs uh, a good amount of money. It's a very popular piece of software. Uh, but as a Fresno City College student, you can get it for free, and this will help you for your uh, lab practical exam since you need to have Office installed on your computer. Um, no need to pay for it. I'll show you where you can get it for free. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is log into your student email. We have recently changed the, um, the student username and password for your email, uh, which is what this big banner is about. Um, if you ever need to figure out what your username and password is, uh, under For Students, just go down to Email and Wi-Fi, and you will see right here step-by-step uh, -step directions on how to log in or activate your account. Um, if you click on that, it will take you to our State Center Community College District website um, and give you sort of your default username and password. This is assuming you have not already created a custom password, which you should. Um, so if you're just logging in for the first time or you've just kept it as the default, uh, your username will be your seven digit student ID at mysccd.edu. And your password will be right here. It's your first initial capitalized, your second initial last name initial, lowercase, and your six-digit date of birth. So two-digit month, two-digit day, two-digit year. Um, that is your default password. And when you log in the first time, it will ask you to change your password um, and then just choose a good secure password. Now, I'm going to presume that you already have done this once um, and have accessed your student email in the past. But again, that's where you'll find the password if you need it. Um, on any of our pages, if you go to the top, you'll see this little email link here. Choose that and student, and that will take you to the Microsoft website where you can log in. Uh, now, my username will look a little bit different than yours because I'm staff and I've just kind of got this account set up for me so that I can do demos and stuff. But uh, regardless, yours will be your seven digit student ID at mysccd.edu. And then choose your password. Uh, whether it's the default or one you've created yourself. And I have screwed up and chosen the wrong password. And sure, remember my password. Uh, now you'll see I've got absolutely no email here. Uh, that's because I use my actual faculty account for most for the most part. So Brian.Baker at Fresno City College edu, not the sort of student equivalent. Um, but you'll see your email here. And then up here on the left, you'll see this Office 365. Click on that. And once you click on that, you will see, uh, hey, here's information on to install Office on more devices. Now, if you have a smartphone or an iPad, uh, you can click on this link to get information about those installations. Um, for our purposes, those are kind of stripped down versions. Um, for tablets and smartphones. They won't have all the features that you need for the uh, the exam. So instead, I'm gonna focus on the on a PC or Mac install link right here. Um, this is the one you're gonna want. So whether you have a PC or a Mac, you can install this for free. And it's not just for this class. Obviously, this is for all of your classes. You're gonna have access to Microsoft Office. Um, so maybe this will be useful for other classes, but for this one, we'll click on PC or Mac install. And it will automatically um, sort of detect what sort of computer you're on. So in this case, it's offering me uh, Office for Mac. Uh, for you, it should offer uh, Office for PC 2013. That's the latest version. Um, if you're a Mac user, you'll see exactly this. It keeps track of how many computers you've installed it on. Uh, you can install it on five different computers. Um, so if you've got a laptop, you've got a desktop at home, uh, I don't know, you've got something else. Um, you can install it on up to five computers and it's going to include Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Um, and then for Mac users, there's a couple other things because we're special um, and we don't have the same versions. If you're on a PC, this is a lot easier. But all you have to do is click on the install button right here. Once you choose that, a binary file will start to download. Go ahead and hit save. Um, and then when you're done, you double click on that file, follow the instructions, and it will install onto your system. Um, 
So super easy. You'll get the latest version of Office so that your version of Office will look just like the simulations. Uh, again, assuming that you're on a PC. If you're a Mac user like I am, um, yours is going to look a little bit different. And hopefully you've already started communicating with me via email so that I can discuss any changes and stuff that you need. Uh, but regardless, uh, you can see it's kind of a long download. Uh, so if you can, do it from campus because we've got very, very fast internet. Um, but otherwise at home, just let it sit, go watch a show, come back and uh, install Office, and you will have Office for free at home. Uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, have a great time. If you have any questions, be sure to email me. Bye-bye.